Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to use our knowledge of Hooke's Law to determine what the displacements in this rigid bar are at A, B, and C. So we're going to assume that this bar is rigid, uh, that it's not bending, and that's just going to kind of just focus our analysis here on our understanding of Hooke's Law for the deformations here in member AD and member BE. So the first thing that we need to do for this is we need to draw the free body diagram for member ABC and solve for the reactions at A and B, which are going to be the internal forces in members AD and BE. So we find that the reaction BY here is 45 kilonewtons pressing up and the reaction at AY is 25 kilonewtons pressing down. And what that really translates to is that uh, the member AD here is in 25 kilonewtons of tension and the member BE here is in 45 kilonewtons of compression. So we can go and uh, plug those into our formula here and solve for the displacements at A and B. And we find that the displacement at A is 0.167 millimeters up and the displacement at B is 0.133 millimeters down. Now assuming that this member ABC is rigid and it has no bending, then we can use similar triangles to solve for what the displacement at C is. So we know the displacement at A, we know the displacement at B. Um, what we really need to do is we need to find the distance here, this X, where it crosses the axis, because then we'll use these similar triangles to solve for the displacement at C. So the first thing that we do is we'll find the triangle, the, the triangle of, uh, uh, we add the heights of displacement A and B, so we get uh, 0 0.280 millimeters. Uh, that is the height of that triangle, and the, the base of that triangle we know is 400 millimeters. All right, and that will be equal to, uh, with similar triangles, we know the height of this guy down here, this small one. Uh, that is 0 0.113 millimeters over x. And so if we just uh, if we just do the cross multiplication there and solve for x, we find that x is going to be equal to um, 161 millimeters. And if we subtract uh, 161 from 400 millimeters, we just get uh, 239 millimeters. And on this side, if we just add 500 millimeters plus 161 millimeters, we get 661 millimeters. So now we can do one more similar triangles calculation. We'll put, uh, we'll put the displacement at C over the base of this triangle, which is 661 millimeters. Clean that up a bit. And that is going to be equal to, let's take the height here of this triangle. We'll do uh, 0. Uh, 167 millimeters over the base of this triangle which is over 239 millimeters and if we just do our cross multiplication there and solve for the displacement at C we're going to find that we get uh, 0 0.462 millimeters in the downward direction so there we go. Uh, sorry, that's supposed to be millimeters. Uh, so we have found the displacement at A, which was, uh, which was pretty easy for us to find using this equation. We found the displacement at C, which is also pretty easy to find. And then to get the displacement at C, we found it using similar triangles based off of the information and the geometry we were given in the problem, assuming that this bar ABC was rigid and, uh, and so that it was not bending.